Welcome back to Cold Ski RC. So we're going to have a flight footage video coming up in a few seconds after I finish doing this intro. And the main reason is to test this. So this is the Nebula Pro from Cadex. I want to see how good it is compared. Well, I can already tell you it looks a damn sight better on a little testing that I've done here. A damn sight better. Uh, you, it comes in different colours. I bought the white one just so it was different. And it just mounts exactly the same way. The cable, you can buy it with or without the cable. So... The camera comes with or without the cable. I advise buying it with the cable because it's so much easier to change it at this end than it is to change the camera. And if you've ever took the back off one of these cameras, it literally lies in place with a little bit of sticky on top of it. And then you've got to put the cover back on and the cover's what holds the cable in place. On the other end, it's simply held in by that little hex screw. If you saw a little hex, I don't know if you can see that bloody video. Right, that little hex screw there. If you undo that, the little clamp comes out and it's dead easy to swap. So we're going to test that, but also we're going to do a proper full test of the Spell 4K, which is the Insta360 beat of like one here. This has now got a very nice mount that I printed off for it and fully adjustable. So we're going to test this camera at the same time. So enjoy the video that's coming up. I'll also have footage. Um, I'll also have some footage showing you what it looked like when I originally got it, which is had the Nebula V2, which is bloody horrible. So I'll show you that footage and then I'll also show you the footage of the Pro. You make your own mind up. Thanks ever so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video. So this is the video footage from the original um, Cadix camera that was in there. As you can see it's in my opinion bloody awful but this is what it looks like anyway. And then next up I'm going to show you what it looks like from the new Pro. So this is from the new Nebula Pro and as you can see, massive difference. Can't really tell the difference between this and the original DJI camera that comes with the standard one but very very much lighter, really nice camera and I'm very happy with it. So this is the video from the small 4K. The problem you can see with Jello is actually down to me. I forgot to put the ND filter on. I'd actually fitted the wrong filter. I put the UV filter on. It's obviously won't help with the Jello. So that's what you can tell from here. Other than that, I think the video quality looks really, really good. It's been run through the Insta360 Studio for stabilization. But overall, I think it's really good. 